Hey everyone, this is Mark from Health Next, and today we have come up with a video showing how you can know that a woman has had sex recently. Well, here's the video. But before watching the video, please make sure you have subscribed to this channel so that you don't miss other videos that we're about to upload. And uh, here's the video. Please have a look. Hi, hi guys. So let me jump in here real quick and clarify on something that I asked you. I asked that uh, can too much sex actually make a woman's vagina lose? Okay, and some people were like, yes, of course it does because how do doctors tell that a woman has had sex? Okay, so I'm going to tell you how they know that. <laughs> All right. Let me say you've been raped and you have, you know, some sort of uh, trauma like bruises or tears inside of your vagina. Okay, that's how they usually know that a woman has been raped. And then also, if they swab your vagina and they find their male DNA or maybe sperms inside of your vagina, that's why rape victims are usually told like, uh, you know, they need to open their legs and the doctor needs to swab inside so that he can be able to tell. Okay, so this whole notion that a doctor just looks at your vagina hole. Meanwhile, vagina holes are like open, you know. <laughs> Even if, you know, you're still a virgin and someone looks down there, yes, it's open, it's a hole, it's right there. Even if there is a hymen, that hymen that shows that, you know, you are a virgin. When they devaginize you, okay, the first time you have sexual intercourse, that hymen stretches. It does not tear like most people say it stretches okay and you know gives more room <laughs> for you to be able to you know <laughs> to enjoy sex better also let's not forget that when a woman is aroused uh, during sexual intercourse her vagina expands it becomes basically <laughs> uh, let me say more open than usual right that's why in the beginning of sexual intercourse there is a bit you know more friction um you know you can feel her vaginal walls more the more and more aroused she gets the wetter she becomes and that's why there's less and less friction as you go on because the vagina has expanded <laughs> okay so there is no way anybody can know or tell that a woman has had sex whether recently even if like she has just had sex an hour before okay you cannot tell i know men convince themselves oh yes i cannot tell they can tell no 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 not really sometimes when a woman's vagina is wet on its own all right and you touch it it will feel you know you touch inside of it it will still feel um like it's um like it has been busy as if she has been having sex <laughs> so yeah sometimes it's not like that all right sometimes it's harder you know uh, her vagina seems a bit tighter, uh, you know, it's not as wet as, uh, let me say, it usually is. So yeah, the vagina has its own feelings, it's really on and off, <laughs> but nobody, nobody can tell that you've had any sex and nobody can tell that you've had too much sex, okay? Things that might cause your vagina to loosen are things like um, a pelvic floor dysfunction, there is childbirth via the vagina okay natural childbirth then there's also menopause you know it can also do that to you that's why you see when a woman has a child uh through her vagina it widens but then it goes back to its natural size okay for some women of course it's more difficult they have to do a couple of exercises keep exercises and whatever to snap back to that original size for some it naturally happens mm -hmm. So when it comes to menopause, of course, because of the hormonal changes, there are so many things that can cause a pelvic floor dysfunction. When your pelvic floor muscles are weakened, okay, they are the ones that cause your vaginal walls to become looser. So when they are tightened or uh, strengthened, uh, they cause your vaginal walls to become tighter, okay? And you have to understand women's vaginas are different. We don't all have the same ones. Some people's uh, vaginas are naturally tighter than others. Okay? That's how it is. Other vaginas are a bit more stretchier. It all comes down to, you know, the type of bodies that we have. All right? That's why you see some women have very soft skin and others, their skin is 
not so soft and others their skin is hard so yeah too much sex does not cause vaginal looseness <laughs> Oh yeah, yes guys, uh, this is Mark again and hope that was so helpful, hope you got some knowledge out there and uh, that was the video for today, please make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss the next video. Uh, well, take care, stay well, enjoy your time, it's Mark. Have next, life's a chore.